Let's get ready. I'm going to be using all drugstore products. I'm starting off with the NYX Pore Filler. This is just a primer, a pore filling primer that I like to apply mainly on my nose area just because lately my pores have been out of control. I don't know if it's because it was summertime or what, but damn. This just like fills anything in and it just makes your foundation look flawless. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Eye Brightener. I really like this product. It is like a salmon shade and I have really dark circles underneath my eyes so I just like to put a wee bit of this under there and pat it in just to cancel out that color underneath there. See how that already just like took away any darkness I had underneath there? That's just to help with pigmentation. I'm going to go in with foundation now. I'm going to be, I haven't used this in so long. It's the Revlon Colorstay Whipped. I'm in the shade 110 Ivory. I used to love this foundation so much, like so much. This is a little bit of a deeper tone for me, but I'm going to be highlighting with concealer, so what if? I'm dotting that everywhere. And then I'm going in with, this is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I find that lately this brush has just been giving me an air brushed flawless finish. So you saw how dark it looks in the jar, but when it's actually on my skin, it really doesn't look too dark for me. But I'm going to highlight now with concealer. And this is the NYX HD um, concealer and it's in the shade Porcelain. So I'm just going to be putting some of this on my forehead, underneath my eyes, a lot underneath my eyes because I very dark circles. My nose down the center of my nose. On my cupid's bow right here. I'm also just going to go right underneath my brows. This isn't really going to do a whole lot but it's going to add a little something. And then with my beauty blender, because I love this beauty blender so much, I'm just going to, you know, bop this on my head and blend it in. This was a white beauty blender once upon a time also. It's like not white anymore. <laughs> Mama gotta clean it. So now you can see that I have parts of my face highlighted and I know a lot of us pale girls out there really freak out because we can't find a shade that's light enough in the drugstore but what I wanted to really show you guys is that you can take a foundation that maybe isn't exactly your skin tone but you can still brighten your face with concealer. So find a concealer that's nice and light enough and then you can highlight your face so it gives more dimension to your face so it's not just like one solid color, you know what I mean? Um, next, I'm going to be setting my under eye concealer just with some NYX HD. It is this, but I have it in the lid. <laughs> just some uh, HD powder and I'm actually going to go really heavy on this underneath my eyes. Oh hell, I'm going to do my whole face right now actually. With a powder brush. I'm not using all drugstore tools, unfortunately. Sorry about that. I have a ton of drugstore brushes, but they're just not clean right now. I was going to use this one on my skin. I dug this one out. This was the Rimmel Stay Matte, um, the transparent. That's why it still has a color because it's not translucent. I really like this stuff, as you can see. It's a really great powder, so try that one out, but it just seems that I'm putting the HD everywhere. Okay, so what I was going to do is take a lot of powder, like I mean a lot of powder, because my eye look is going to be pretty um, heavy. I'm going to be taking this brush, it's actually from Crown Brush, brand new, and I'm going to be placing a ton of powder underneath my eyes. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but this really gets rid of fallout. It's a little trick from me to you. So if you're doing a smoky eye or anything that's like really, you know, going to have a lot of fallout, load up the powder because then you just sweep it away after. Just gonna let that sit, marinate on my face. And I'm going to go into contouring right now. So I'm going to be using NYX Taupe. This is a blush. Where's my favorite brush for this? Right here I found it. This is the brush that comes with the Hoola bronzer. I'm so in love with this brush. I know NARS has one too. I love this just because, you know, it's just it's just perfect. And it's nice and short so it's not really bendy. Um, so I'm just going to contour here. People were asking me to do a new contouring video um, since I found this and honestly it's the exact same as my contouring video. Um, I will link that down below but I just use this product so you can just imagine. Imagine it okay? Unless one day I decide that it's very vital to share this information with you guys but 
for right now, it's the exact same process, just a different product. And I know that would be awesome to see, but I'm going to be doing Halloween tutorials and stuff, so I think those take precedence over a new contouring video. Oh, emails. Okay, I'm not going to put, um, oh, maybe I should. Should I just put blush on? I'm just going to put blush on. This is the NYX Blush in Spice. This blush is beautiful. It's like one of my favorite NYX blushes in the entire world. It's, it's gotten its love, I'll tell ya. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. Forgot how pigmented this was. That's, uh, why I know how to blend. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot how pigmented this was. Oh. See, this is real life. This is what I do every day of my life. Put too much on and then I'll have to blend away. There we go. I'm going to highlight later, but for now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to do my eyebrows first and foremost. I'm going to be using two actually of these NYX gel waterproof eyebrow gels. Um, blonde and black. I like mixing these two because I like more of a gray tone for my brows. So I have a little bit of each on my hand. So there's one brow done just so you can see what I'm going to be going for. So I mix the two products. So you can see that it's more, it's gray. Like it's just straight up gray now. Um, and then I went in with a little bit of concealer and the concealer that I like using for my brows is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. If I'm not using this underneath my eyes, I'm using this on my brows. So here we go with this brow. I do need to do an updated brow routine, but that'll come in time. I'm going with a more straight across brow for today. So really just delicately draw out my brow just to see the symmetry between them. And what I love about brows is Anytime you muck up, you can just take a little bit of concealer and just clean it up. Getting my brows like somewhat the same is an everyday struggle of mine, so it'll take time. Trust me, it'll take time. This is just a random little spoolie. This product is pretty much dry by now, but it's still blendable when it's dry. And that's pretty much my brow using this product. For today's look, I'm going to be using five NYX eyeshadow shades. You can kind of get the feel of what today's look is going to look like. Of course, my camera stopped filming. Um, I'm taking Dance with Tides, and I just put that in my crease. Um, I just like did a little bit out here, swiping it over into my crease and extending it past my eye a wee bit at the corner there. Next color is Lol. It's a little bit of a deeper orange tone compared to Dance the Tides. And I'm just going to be popping this kind of more directed into my crease just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm just doing this because the other color is so neutral. This just gives it a little bit of life. All right, and then this one is called Sex Kitten and I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush with that and pop that all over my eyelid. Makeup is just really a puzzle and you just have to figure out where the pieces go. The shade is called Skinny Dip and on a more detailed, I guess, um, blending brush, it's just a little bit stubbier and I can control it a little bit more. I'm going to be placing this just on the outer bit of my eye. Give it a little bit of depth just on the very outer corner. Trying to focus it mainly just on my eyelid, not really bringing it up into the crease, but my eyes are really funny, so usually it just ends up on my crease. And then I'm just going over that with that big blending brush again, just to smooth it over. And now I'm really going to deepen it up with this shade, which is called Own the Night. I'm actually going to be using it on a flat shader brush, because I'm going to be popping this right outside my eyeball. I'm going to put it right here on the very outside and having a blending brush handy so I can just blend it on over. One thing I found with makeup is having smaller brushes really helps with makeup application. For my brow bone highlight I'm using this highlighter by NYX. It is in Ritualistic. This highlight has a little bit of gold in it so it really works well with this look. I'm going to move on to underneath my eyes and now I'm just going to take a brush and just sweep away any fallout I had 
And because we put that powder on earlier, see how easy it is just to flick it away? I'm going to be using some NYX gel eyeliner. This is the only gel eyeliner that actually stays in my waterline. So just popping some gel in my actual waterline and then as well underneath into my lash line. Um, and then with a little, this is actually a lip brush, I'm just blending that out a wee bit. This is the worst. I hate my lower lashes. My lower lashes are so long and they're so like sensitive. Ugh. I try. I try. And then what I do when I have gel liner underneath here, I literally take my finger and just rub it like really gently because I know it's my eye area. But that's the only thing that really smokes it out for me. NYC High Definition Liquid Eyeliner. I've never tried it before and I was really curious about it. So let's give it a go. If I could get the packaging, if I could get it out. It's like tight in here, are you kidding me? All right, I hope this is in focus because I'm gonna try and show you guys what I do. So what I first do is I assess where my lash line, my bottom lash line is. And what I'm going to do is drag it out. I don't drag it up, I drag it out. Wow, this thing is like a felt tip marker. This might be interesting to do with this. Um, it's like dragging on my... This might not be the best eyeliner for this. No, I'm sorry. Um, so far this eyeliner, no. You know what, actually, I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to use it for on top of my lash line. Oh, no, okay. I don't like this eyeliner, I'm not using it. I'm sorry, it's just, it's pulling on my eye. It's just not good. This is the NYX Black Liquid Wine. This is the one I'm gonna use, sorry. I just, I can't use that eyeliner if it's pulling on my eyeball. It just felt like, like look at this. Um, okay, so on the outer bit of my eye here, dragging it outwards like that. And if you ever mess up, you can always go back with concealer. So that's why I don't really focus on getting the perfect line because you can always go back and fix it with concealer. So I'm going to go back across like that, fill it in a little bit. See how simple that was? So simple. And then I bring it over top of my eyeball. This is such a great eyeliner. Oh, I die over it. And trust me, I wasn't always this precise with my eyeliner. I've just been doing this for like literally years. Back to my under eye, that gel has now dried. So I'm going to go back in with our first color we use, which is Dance the Tides. It's such a weird name. And literally just buffing it into that gel eyeliner very softly. I will never get used to anything touching my bottom lashes. You could do like a burgundy underneath there, that would look really pretty, but I like the orange. And I'm going to put a little bit of gel eyeliner into my um, lash line up here. What is this thing called again? Tight line? That just caps it off so there's no skin showing in your eyeball. I'm going to quickly curl my eyelashes with the NYX Eyelash Curler. And I'm going to be trying a new mascara today, which I'm really excited to try about. I'm... Try about? I'm going to try about it. Um, I'm not really going to build up my lashes. Mostly my bottom lashes, but it's this one. It's the Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow Luscious Length and Volume Mascara. I will be putting on false lashes, but I thought what a perfect time to give a new mascara a go. I'm just going to do a quick coat on my top lashes, just so they're nice and black. I actually think I really like this mascara already. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so black. Oh my god, look how my bottom lashes are. I think I really like this mascara. Yep. The lashes I'm going to put on are these Salon Perfect Lashes. They're in the shade 105. 105. And I'm going to be using this Salon Perfect Lash Glue for that as well. I got my lashes on and, you know, my eyeliner just got... Bigger and bigger somehow, you know how that is. I'm going to be using the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in the shade White Pearl for my inner tear duct highlight. So I'm just going to pop a little bit all around, you know, my tear duct and have it fall all over my face. 
that's the risky business of using a loose pigment. Then I'm going to use that highlight I used on my brow again, and I'm going to apply that with a fan brush to the high points of my cheeks, my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Look at my hand. This is my hand every time I do my makeup. It's just my palette. Not other people's makeup, but like my makeup because I actually get to use the back of my hand, which is exciting. Got my eyes done, got my face done, lips. I'm going to be using a darker color, but I'm actually going to start off with a NYX lip primer. I want my lips to be pretty dark with this eye look, and I went in with the NYX Black um, Eye and Eyebrow Pencil, and I just lined my lips, and now I'm blending that line just so there's not any harsh line, because I'm going to go in with... Transylvania. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Transylvania. It's a nice purple, a really deep color. Oh, so nice. I don't have a lip liner that matches this, so I just use, like to use black. And it gives like a nice ombre look when I have my skin, like my lip in the middle. I'm going to set all of my face with the Matte Finishing Spray by NYX. Make sure that your mascara is dry when you do this though, otherwise you'll get tons of mascara underneath your eyes and that's not fun. So yeah, um, I, think I'm, I think I'm finished. I'm pretty happy with this look. Beautiful for fall, you know, like, it like literally looks like leaves on the ground. I just wanted to show you guys a makeup look using all drugstore products because you can create a banging makeup look just using drugstore products. and. These are all really great products. I just realized I didn't set my brows with my brow gel. This is NYX Control Freak. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly do that. I can never leave the house without brow gel. It just makes your brows look so much more groomed and it like blends everything together. I love me some Control Freak brow gel. I love filming these types of videos. These are like my favorite videos to film. Just me like sitting down and like putting on makeup. I feel like I need some sort of like alliteration or something to like name these like not just like get ready with me but like Bailey beauty babble or something like that comment down below and let me know if you have any suggestions because I love filming these videos and I find that I can try a whole bunch of different products and tell you like a little bit about each one of them instead of just during my monthly favorites y'all get to see firsthand all the products in action so yeah um that's it um you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Bailey Van Veen, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Why is my world crooked right now? This is so crooked. Oh my god, that's so crooked. Is that crooked? It's not crooked in real life, I promise. Is that straight? Crooked? Lord knows. Maybe that's why it was crooked.